uh, fellow Hot Wheels collectors. Right, got some very nice carded cars here. Mostly the uh, E-Case stuff and a few others. Again, still waiting for other cars to come along, so... Oh, well. Anyway, first up we have the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Non-super, unfortunately. Just the ordinary blue version. But again, this is the uh, nice version. I think I now do have every single version. The gold, silver, black... Uh, arid version and non and uh, proper version. I would be nice. It would be nice to find a superized version of this, but that ain't gonna happen. So nice to find this one. The Kmart one. No idea if I'm gonna find that or get that at all. I never do. But again, still nice to get that one. Hopefully to see one in red or yellow next. Next up, we have the 70s Camaro. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Green some basic stripe on it down the side top on it be nice to see that as a treasure hunt actually or a super next up we have the surf bus this has changed because it used to be called surfing school bus but it's now actually called surf bus and I've just noticed that it's got a load of spool in it it's got a black bit of off cast from the uh, machine there I don't know if that's going to pick up on my camera yeah, it isn't, yeah, but just just on the side there, there's a bit of black, sort of like what looks like a hair. It's actually off cast. Yeah. Oh well, still nice though. It has changed to surf bus. It used to be originally called surfing school bus. And it does actually have that underneath there. It does actually have it underneath on the base. Very cool tampo colours. Very popular model this one. Been around for a while now, been around since... 2000? That can't be right. I remember that being in the 90s. Oh well. Perhaps I'm wrong. La Ferrari. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous model this. See this in uh, silver or black next would be very nice indeed. Sort of looks like the Ferrari Enzo but more quicker. Sort of, I think this is basically the Enzo Ferrari and F40's baby. Because it's got F40 looks in it and it's got Ferrari Enzo looks in it. Gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous that. Treasure Hunt, Loop Coop. Found the Loop Coop. Slight packaging error this. And no, I'm not holding it at an angle. It is actually slightly squint. That is now straight and as you can see... If I twist it a little bit, that is now straight for the car. Again, it is a treasure hunt. Right in the corner back there. You can see the treasure hunt logo. I almost missed it, actually. Same with the uh, other one. The uh, one that was before the loop coupe. I almost missed that one. Good thing I can see the circle flag logo. Now, we have quite a vintage uh, carded one, this. Tesco's were doing, um, or when I was walking around Tesco's, I found some older Matchbox. This is a matchbox from 2009, so this is either 20, uh, 2009 or 2010. There is the very cool 71 Oldsmobile Vita Cruiser, uh, Vista Cruiser. Very nice gold with wood effects, and it does have the dogs in the back, which I think if you go very, 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 very far back into the uh, history, Originally, you used to be able to uh, push on the dog's heads or push them to side to side and the steering would work. It would steer. Very cool indeed, that. Next up, we have Roadster. I think someone just pressed the R, sort of like got their hands stuck on the R. It's a very nice looking car. I think this is the uh, newer version of the Jaguar... Um, Jaguar XJ. I think uh, the one that celebrated its uh, 50th birthday a couple of years ago. I think this is the newer version of it. And it is just absolutely beautiful. Lovely silver, green uh, tampos with the number 4 on the side. Lovely. Next up we have the Toyota 2000 GT in banana yellow. I think it'll be a case of it's either purple, green or banana yellow this year that Hot Wheels seem to have a lot left over. Yellow underside as well. Very basic 
tampos, just a few stripes here and there. Sort of reminds me of uh, the Herbie film with um, that car, but that was a Ferrari, I think, or a Ford or something that was faster. Still nice, though. Next up, we have the Tumblr camouflage version. I actually have two of these. I don't know why. I think it might be a case of I've brought one thing, I didn't have it, and then I found out I do have it. Camouflage version. Very nice indeed. I think I've only got the uh, five pack loose version of this uh, somewhere in this collection here. It's somewhere in that lot. Don't ask me where. Again, very nice. This is before it got painted. This is the car Bruce Wayne in the uh, Batman new version of the film uh, said, I want that as my Batmobile. Toyota Supra. Very, very popular model this. Fast and Furious version. This one's nice. Could use better wheels. I reckon I agree with everybody that customises this with better wheels. I agree with you 100%. They're nice, but I reckon with a different kind of wheel on, they'd look even better. Porsche 93, uh, 993 GT2. This is a very interesting looking model. Love the fact it has one metal spoiler on the back. This is all pure metal casting. The base is plastic, but yeah. Very nice indeed. Very colourful. Be nice to see that as uh, in black or silver next. Next up we have the wheel loader. This is the uh, third colour variation, I think, for 2014 and 13. And 12, I think. No, 13. Very nice model indeed. Not much uh, to say really. I don't think this bit on the front pivots anymore. I think the older 80s or 70s ones used to. Still, it is very nice to own. Because it's just one of those uh, things that you like. 81 DeLorean DMC 12 in red. This is the gorgeous red version. I do like this uh, DeLorean in red. The only one I'm missing at the moment is the gold version from I think 2011, 2010 or somewhere thereabouts. I know there was a gold version that Hot Wheels produced. That's the only one I'm missing at the moment. It would be nice to get that either loose or carded. But seeing as that is a very popular casting, I don't think I'm going to find it. 64 Lincoln Continental. This one's been around for a while. Very nice one indeed. Uh, if you find the soft top version of this, the 2013 Treasure Hunt, that's been around since 2007. How do I know? Because I have the 2007 New Models Edition carded still. That was white uh, with gold wheels with, I think, a yellow uh, or green windshield. Nice tampos on this indeed. Very nice indeed. Again, like I say, at the moment, uh, I've literally only just discovered these, I think, a couple of weeks ago, start of March time, when uh, Tesco's Milton had them. So I grabbed a whole load, and now it's been a month. They haven't restocked. They've got literally bare pickings. Next up, we have the 71 Plymouth Roadrunner. Absolutely very interesting model, this. Nice colours on it. Very interesting car indeed. Nothing really interesting about it really. It's just a nice green car. But I do like uh, the stranger sort of not very often used uh, variation of cars. So like ones that aren't sort of like used very much. Okay, moving on to uh, Poundland. They had, uh, they've still got a load of old... Uh, Matchbox. They've also got a load of the uh, cars of the, not decade, but cars of the music era. And also as well this. The 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition. These are the long carded uh, 2012 version with the Hot Wheels Auto Show on it. Now I think these are international because they're not USA related. But they do have that on. But they could they could be USA, they could be UK, I don't know. All I know is that these are very, very, uh, very much not limited. Because they have like about two or three pegs worth of pound lands. So obviously, uh, once you buy one, unless you're going to customise it or anything, it's not worth much. 
So first up we have the new wave. We have the 84 Pontiac Grand Prix. I am missing most of these. It's possibly the 60s and 70s ones that I'm missing. Very nice, pretty uh, 80s colour. The other thing as well as I like about this one, it has a cassette on it. Oh yeah, the 80s was all about cassettes. Popular, very easy to uh, use because everybody wants to record the top 20 or top 10 tracks off of the um, radio. Next up we have the 33 Ford Lowboy with Delta Blues on it. Very nice little model indeed. I know I sent Stephen Lum one of these. Uh, again, like I say, most of the cars that are hanging around at the moment on the pegs in Newmarket Poundland is uh, the Grunge uh, Corvette, 97 Corvette, the uh, Honda Civic, uh, not the Honda Civic, the uh, Mitsubishi Evolution, that one from the Grunge, uh, the Soul 80s Camaro, and a couple of the one that I just showed you, the Grand Prix. Sadly, like I say, most of those were not very popular. People probably grabbed one, maybe two, one to crack open, but that was about it. And like I say, most of the ones that I'm missing is probably sort of like the 60s one and the 50s probably as well. But like I say, um, some of the 90s, it depends entirely upon how popular it is. I know that unlike the uh, cars of the decade, these ones haven't been very uh, popular and they haven't ordered any more in either. So, don't know what I'm going to do there. Anyway, next up we have the 47 Chevy Fleetline. I'm hoping they do get some more of these in because I'd really like the carbonator version that came with this. I'm not sure entirely upon why they had the carbonator, but still nice. Next up we have the uh, 97 Corvette Grunge Series. This is the one that I'm telling there's a lot of these hanging around. I think also as well, woo, sudden in focus shot there. I don't know why I suddenly zoomed in on that. Yeah. Again, not much to say about these. This is the real peg hanger at the moment. And again, like I say, 97 Corvette, not as popular as the 94 um, Cor uh, 95 uh, or 97 Camaro. 2008 Lancia Evolution, another peg hanger that's sitting around doing nothing. Again, nice graphics on it. The other thing as well is that if you do buy these, uh, you will get this logo on the back of it. This is uh, basically a UK regula uh, regulation to say sort of like, yes we can sell these in the UK. Uh, most cars do come with that. The TK Maxx stickers, they occasionally peel off but I wouldn't peel them off because they might rip. 07 Ford Shelby GT500 for the Hip Hop series. I also sent one of these to Stephen because he wanted one. Couldn't get him a Ford Vicky. I'm really ashamed about that. If they do have another one, I will get you that one. New Wave 80s El Camino. Now, this is a heavy casting, this one. This is metal bodied, metal based, and it is very heavy. Very cool colours though. I haven't seen this one hanging around. It seems like the 80s one is more popular than the uh, 70s one. Best one of the lot is the 57 Cadillac Eldorado Birmingham. Another heavy casting because it's metal bodied, metal based. This is probably why they haven't ordered any more in because these are quite heavy so possibly the shipping costs. Also as well sometimes they do come with the stickers, sometimes they don't. But again like I say it's hit and miss really. Sometimes they will put a sticker on, sometimes they don't. Delta Blues 32 Ford Vicky in very strange packaging because uh, it seems to be a case of you've got a little curved bit on the back there and then you've got a curved bit on the front there. Painted uh, radiator, took me a moment there. Very nice overall colours, beautiful old uh, bringing back of the classic gold uh, multi spiked rims. Very nice colouring indeed. 68 El Camino, no, it's 68. this is the one that's hanging around a lot of. This is the one before they uh, put the big spoiler in the back and before they put the big engine in the back. 
Again, this one, a real peg hanger. It's been, there's at least four or five of those. But again, like I say, I don't want to buy them because I did that with the uh, Hot Wheels uh, baggy series. I brought ten of those. If anybody wants to trade them, I've had no replies. So I'm not going to buy the duplicates of those left. Probably the most rarest one that I could find there was the AMC Javelin AMX. This is possibly the only one that sort of like I grabbed a couple of weeks later. But again, like I say, this is probably the more rarer one. And like I say, I am still missing a fair few of these. I think on this one, I do pretty much have them all. Yeah, I've got every single one on that series card. So every single one that you see there, I've got. It's on the other cards that I don't have them, which is rather a shame. And then finally, um, in Poundland, like I say, they were selling matchboxes, which are very old. This uh, Desert Thunder V16, I don't think I had this one. So I grabbed it. Just a nice, uh, very nice, uh, real matchbox uh, logo on the side of it. Very cool indeed. Nice barbed wire effect plasticky top I think yep. very cool very cool little lorry truck thing I just liked it because it something I didn't have and that is pretty much it carded wise again like I say I will try and see if there is any newer uh, jukebox series cars I doubt it newer matchbox those have been hanging around for ages uh, the Camaro special edition that's been hanging around Went to Cambridge Poundland uh, a couple of days ago. They have still got the baggies, loads of matchbox and C case. Because that's when the uh, boombox treasure hunt came out. C case along the international cards. So it looks like it's going to be a slow month for the UK. Hopefully we get some newer cases. I'm hoping to get the Homer. That's really the only desirable one. And also as well... Uh, the Zap or What's Up, that uh, really cool looking electric car because it looks like it's something from the 80s. Anyway, thanks for watching and up next, a special.